The Buddha says that we bring mindfulness to the fore when we meditate. In another place he says you want mindfulness to be the governing principle. In other words, it's in charge. It takes precedence. And when it's in charge, it remembers that if skillful qualities have not yet arisen, you try to give rise to them. And if they're there, you try to maintain them. If something unskillful comes up, you try to let go of it, you try to make sure it doesn't come back. So you're not just watching things arising and passing away. We're trying to make good things arise. And when they're there, you're trying to make sure they don't pass away. This is how we build a path. Otherwise, our practice goes in fits and starts. It's like somebody walking on a road, taking three steps forward, two steps back, th four steps to the side. And you say there's a lot of walking, but it's not going where they really want it to go. So as Buddha says, when you give birth to a desire to do something good, maintain it, nurture it, make sure it doesn't die. This way you're not just watching birth and death of mind states. You're trying to keep some of them alive, the good ones, the good ones that are helpful, that maintain concentration, that maintain a sense of equilibrium inside. So when the world has lots of ups and downs, the mind doesn't feel like it's riding a roller coaster, because it doesn't go up and down with the world. It stays on an even keel. Now we can see things a lot more clearly. You can understand when something's going up, if it's going up in a dangerous way or a safe way. In the same way when it's going down. You're in a position where you can see things a lot more clearly, because you maintain these good qualities in mind. So once you've given breath to a good quality, make sure it stays. Because the goodness of the mind is not like the goodness of the body. The body is good when it's strong, healthy. But it's designed to eventually be, become ill and to weaken. But the mind doesn't have to become ill, and the mind doesn't have to weaken. One of the Buddhist lay students went to see him one time after he'd been sick. And the Buddha said, well, make sure that even if the body is sick, the mind doesn't get sick. The lay student bowed down to the Buddha and went to see Sariputta. So I wrote to Sunday, you look like you've received the, the nectar of a Dharma talk from the Buddha. What did he teach? And the lay person said, he said, make sure that even if the body is sick, the mind isn't sick. So our Buddha asked, well, did he explain what he meant? And the lay person said, well, no, I didn't think to ask. So sorry, Buddha explained. When the mind is latched on to any of the aggregates, that's when it's sick. When it's learned how to free itself from that attachment, that's when it's healthy. So look at your health. The health of the body, as I say, goes up and down, but the health of the mind is something you can strengthen and strengthen and strengthen. Keep on strengthening. The investment in that is time well spent.